Hello everyone, it's Red Herring and today I'm going to talk about the She Cup from India. And before I begin, I do want to say that this is a loaner cup. I borrowed it from a buddy and I will be sending it back soon. So um, I'm not going to do a whole bunch of comparisons or anything with it. I'm just going to go over uh, a little bit about the cup and my own experience with it because I did get to try it on my last period. So um, if you find something in this video that was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. So again, the She Cup comes out of India and it uh, their website is www.shecup.com. They molded that right into the rim of the cup um, and that's on the inside of the cup. Um, and if you go to their website, I don't see an actual buy button. You have to, uh, it says to order yours now or, or buy now or something like that. And you click on that and it just takes you to uh, a form that you fill out and it gets sent to them. And I guess they contact you and let you know how to buy it and whatnot. Um, I'm not sure if they are shipping to the United States, but I think my buddy Jennifer that purchased this cup, this is her cup, um, got it from eBay. And somebody just pulled up, so I'm going to pause. So uh, about two years ago or so, uh, one of my Facebook buddies um, who live in India was using this cup and was looking for another cup that might work for her better. Um, but so at that time I was looking at uh, the website for this cup and uh, noticed that on their website it doesn't state that it's medical grade silicone. It just says silicone. It says non-toxic, non-allergenic silicone. I'm, my laptop is behind my tablet. Um, and so if you're really worried about it being medical grade silicone, please do your own homework, contact them, look for um, any kind of certificates that they might have, but I didn't do any of that information just because I was borrowing this cup. Um, because it did say silicone on there, but not medical grade silicone, I, I was mindful when I was using it to note if I felt any different. Um, tingling, burning, warming, any kind of out of the ordinary signs to say I think you need to take out this cup but I didn't have any of those issues with this cup um, no changes at all that I felt so I, I feel personally that I was okay with this cup the she cup only comes in this one size you can look on their website for all of their measurements if I didn't already say that I think I did um, but it I don't know if it says the capacity uh, I'll get to that in a little bit, but uh, they only carry this one color, which is kind of a light pink color. Um, to me, it's a little bit more blushy, but maybe it's just because of my surroundings bouncing off of this cup. Um, sorry, I just got a Facebook <laughs> message that I looked down at. Um, so th they only have this one color, but they were trying to come out with a two-toned cup, which I have not seen yet. Uh, besides Love Your Body, but that's not the two-tone that I'm talking about. Uh, so I will put a picture here of their um, their website colors, which is a pink and purple, and they were trying to blend that ombre kind of uh, into their cup, and that would have been really cool. I would love to have a two-toned cup, but maybe not in pink and purple. So I'm going to start off on their stem here, and it's a really, really short stem. I, I personally really like that because if I was to keep uh, a cup, I normally would cut the stem off. And so having this stem really short is really nice for people that don't need that stem. However, if you do need a stem, this is pretty much useless if I put my hand on the cup and I... <laughs> and I try to use that stem, my fingers just kind of slide right off of it. Having that one little grip ring on it is not going to give you very much grip uh, because the stem itself is so short. So um, if you do need stems, you probably want to pass this cup, uh, pass on this cup. Right below that, or well, if now, right below that there are some grip rings, but they are vertical on this cup. And I think it's, uh, I think they do that because 
a lot of cup companies say to turn your cup while it's inside of you and so well the cup would be this way um, while it's inserted if you grab the cup from the base and try to turn it those um, grip lines would be logical so they don't have any grip rings that go around the cup like this like normal um, and I think that was a pretty smart design but if you do need grip rings to grab onto your cup to pull it out again this probably wouldn't be a great cup um, those those little grip lines aren't very raised I'll see if I can get a good clear shot they're not very prominent on this cup so um, I, I think for people that are not sensitive or that are sensitive, sorry, those are really low rise. Um, they feel rounded off, so you shouldn't have big problems with uh, feeling those. Um, the, this part of the cup here is a little bit frosted, like um, it has a little bit of grippiness. It's not a sticky uh, silicone, but it does have some grip to it. So if I pinch my fingers down onto the cup and Pool. my fingers slide but they're not sliding really fast uh, off of the cup like some of these other um, s smoother uh, cups so it does have a good a grippiness without having those grip rings this bottom here on the rim um, is a clear silicone and you can see right through that pretty well I can insert my finger there and you can see it's got a good clarity on it um, and I I do like the rim the secondary rim that they've included on this because it does help get that rim to open when it's inserted um, and I normally don't care for these hard-edged type of secondary rims but this one didn't give me any problems they did round this edge off um, I think my Moon Cup USA version is just a real squared off piece of silicone there and I didn't like that. I could feel it. It wasn't uncomfortable because I'm not like hugely sensitive to those things. Um, but I do like that they finished this one off and, and rounded that edge. Um, on the second or this, the, the top rim here, you can see that there are signs that there was a seam just barely see it but they did brush those away pretty nicely I can't feel any kind of a seam with uh, my fingertips and there's no other seams going on, uh, down the cup that I need to mention so there are four holes uh, around this cup and this is the part that I don't care for on the cup they set those holes quite low so it's below that secondary rim and that takes up quite a bit of your capacity. Um, I didn't have a very heavy period, so I don't know if my blood would have leaked through those holes, but it's a possibility. So um, I just, I, I'm sad that they put them so low. If they had put the holes up here, it would have given uh, a more capacity to this cup, making it more desirable to you know a person with a heavier flow. The holes on this cup are pretty pinholes, pinhole size, but they did include four of them, so um, it didn't give me any problems. It looks huge right there, but it really isn't. Uh, you can see right through the other side, um, but it it allowed enough air to go inside of the cup and open up. But the secondary rim uh, really gave a, or lent a good hand to get this cup to open without any problems for me and I did just use the c-fold it was easy um, and it popped open without any problems so I was really happy with that um, and I think this might be okay for somebody with a low cervix just because the top rim here flares out a little bit so this cup can ride up a little higher and nestle onto your um, cervix and then because it doesn't have that really long stem uh, it might be able to fit nicely for you um, with your low cervix. I do want to mention that uh, they left a really good piece of meat in here 
between the um, stem and the cup and you can see it really well right there um, this different uh, shade of pink from here to here so that line there is a solid piece of silicone it is um, pretty squishy it's it's not hard hard it's not too firm but um, it's not like it, it doesn't feel really soft either so it's not as hard I would say as I have a, um, a nature cup nature cup however you want to pronounce it and that one had a huge uh, hard piece which was uncomfortable to me so this is nothing like that but you can cut um, further down into the cup so here my nail you can see is where that that piece of meat starts that seal you can cut into this area and then file it down if you need this cup to be even just a little bit shorter so that's a nice feature that they included there I don't know if that's what they intend to do with some of these cups but it does make it nice for people that have to or that like a cup but it just is a millimeter or two too long um, including that little piece of meat in there or that good chunk of meat in there makes it so that you can cut into the cup uh, without breaking into the bowl of the cup so just makes it a little bit shorter it's nice uh, so overall I really did actually like this cup and I was surprised because I didn't think I was going to uh, seeing it in the pictures. I thought that the stem was longer in the pictures, but I do like the stem. Um, the only problem I have with this cup is the capacity, again, uh, just because those holes are so low. So um, I wish they would really move them up here. I think a lot more people would be happier with that. Um, but overall I think it's a really good cup and I would actually use it again if I purchased one uh, for myself so I think that's all I have about this cup right now um, well I, that's all I have about this cup since I'm go going to be sending it back to its home so um, I'm sure that Jennifer Lewis can, uh, can do some comparisons for you uh, if you want this cup to be compared to some other cups. So um, make sure you check out her website. I will leave a link to her. Uh, how about right here? I'll leave a link to her right here. And um, click on that. You can visit her and ask her to do some, some comparisons for you if you're curious. So until next time, um, take care.